Hello, my name's Amelia Lyons, and I'm going to talk to you about uh, warming up for balance groups. And in particular, I'm going to focus on some exercises to surface unconscious material. Uh, now, what do we mean by the unconscious? So that part of mental life that does not ordinarily enter the individual's awareness yet may influence behaviour. So it's stuff that we're, we're not aware of by its very definition, and yet in some way it may be controlling our behaviour. And we'd like to uh, spot this in the group. Now, one simple example of that is something called projection. For example, um, uh, in a balance group, we're looking at a doctor-patient relationship or a psychotherapist-patient relationship. And so the patient may come into the room and already have in their mind the idea of the doctor as either some sort of benign, kind figure uh, that's going to be nice to them. Or they might have another image of a doctor, say, as a sort of stern parent-like figure who's going to tell them off in some way. Um, and there may be a range of um, projections, as we call it, so a range of sort of fantasies and pictures about the doctor. Um, even before they've met them about um, the doctor is an authority figure and that's usually associated with their early experience of authority figures um, and whether that's been a good experience, a positive experience or an experience where perhaps an authority figure has been cruel or unkind uh, or unpredictable in some way. And any of those can then influence the projections that the patients come in the door with. Of course, projections are not just limited to patients. The doctor has projections too. Um, and then we look at countertransference. And this is where, let's say, the patient projects something onto the doctor, such as they're a nice, kind sort of mummy type figure. Um, and they imagine that um, that's how the doctor's going to be. And they treat them um, in a sort of perhaps a bit of a... They're, they, they become a little bit childlike in the session. Um, and, and sort of are a bit warm and cuddly towards mummy. And the doctor, their countertransference, they may sort of behave in a, a motherly kind of fashion, whether they're a man or a woman, you know, they may behave in, in that sort of fashion um, because the patient is treating them in that way. Or they may think, what's going on here? I don't like this. Uh, I'm not your mother and um, get a bit cross in that sense. So the countertransference might be what we call complementary, so it sort of goes along with the projection, or it might be um, contradictory and, and goes against it. Um, so there's an interplay that happens between the two, where do you sort of go along with that transference? Are you even aware of it? Um, another patient may come in the door and see you as some sort of punitive um, parent or teacher type figure and assume that you're going to tell them off and behave in perhaps quite an, a very timid, timid way or an aggressive way. And as the doctor or the psychotherapist, you might, in turn, if they're a bit cross with you, you might be a bit cross with them back. Or if they're a bit timid, you might be... Um, uh, a bit um, sort of wanting to tease the person out and, and sort of uh, re overly reassuring, if you like. So either way, what's happening there is you're already responding to the projection in a particular way and, and you're, you're kind of hooked into that. And that's what's called countertransference. Now, often we don't even see it happening. Uh, and many times, um, so it's out of our awareness, it's unconscious. And of course, many times um, it, it, it's fine whether it happens or not. Um, the transaction happens between, the, the uh, say, the doctor and the patient. Doctor writes out a prescription, patient goes away, and um, that's that. End of story. Um, so it only becomes an issue... Um, uh, in in that sort of doctor patient relationship where perhaps the patient is repeatedly coming back um, and it seems like the problem is more than that which is being presented in the room that's when it becomes a problem um, it may also be when the doctor um, 
takes home the problem and is continually thinking about that particular patient, is a bit preoccupied with them, is wondering whether they did the right thing with that patient um, and is feeling a bit uncertain about that. Um, and in psychotherapy, of course, that will also be the case. And, and that's kind of expected in psychotherapy and that's worked out in psychotherapy supervision. So that's what we um, in the group, we're looking to kind of surface what's going on between these projections, the counter transference that gets played out in the room and in, in the group context, in a balanced group where a doctor may bring a case to the room uh, and the group, then um, we have a chance to explore that and think about it. And whilst that is happening in the group, the doctor sits out of the group and listens to the group talk about it once they've talked about the story and uh, the group get a chance to debate what's going on.